<laughs> and then I'll start by pounding it down. I'll make a slab. So compress it. Make it nice and thin. And that's better than slab roller? Oh yeah. <laughs> slab roller is pretty much useless in terms of making slabs. <laughs> um, because it doesn't compress them. It doesn't compress them. Even if you do it like yeah. different ways, I always I, mean, yeah. I, I don't handle very often. Um, or, or use Well, you need often. to do you this. Start with that, and then put it in the slab roller. That that. Well, actually, I would say part. do do it the other way right. around. Right. Do the sra right. slab roller first, and then, then, and oh, then yeah. compress. But in order to get it to the exact height you want, you can do a final pass over this guy, or no. Well, yeah, of course you could do a second one, but I would take it out in between and compress it. And then um, put it back in. Put it back in. Yeah. This clay seal is very nice right now. So I just want to make sure that it's kind of smooth and shiny. Shiny is nice. So when this feels like it's like waxy, that's what I want. Okay, and then I'll take the texture, if you want some. But you didn't do the texture on the, the smooth side? I'm going to compress it this way. Oh, you're going to compress it that way. Oh, that's okay. It's just from, it's one of those things that you put into your drawers. Yeah, drawer liner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's something. Not that. Anything. That works good as a bat mate as well. Orange, oh, yeah. uh, tangerine oh, bags. Yeah, the, um, the liners. Works as a bat mate? Yeah, if you cut it for a yeah. bat mate, it yeah. works yeah. pretty good. Oh, that's a good thing. Nice texture. Mm -hmm. So, it has to be wet, wet, wet in order to make the slab, or I think in order to do what she wants to do okay. next. Okay. Okay. You don't need it that wet. You don't need it that wet to make a slab. Okay. No. Although it, it, you know, making a slab that way, it's much easier if it's wet because it stretches easier. Yeah. True. Well, you mean when you're yeah when for yes. But so now you can think about how wide and what is this supposed to hold, if anything. Um, just want to make sure it's separated. And if you compress it well, even this thin, it's incredibly strong. And that's, you will notice the difference between slab roller. Okay. Because it. it'll just come, it's like, this is like leather. Mm. Okay. So it doesn't tear apart. Mm -hmm. um, so that's important. And you think that throwing it compresses it better? Oh yeah, it's because okay. it's... Slapping it. Yeah. So, now I'll make my, de depending of course how, how big you want your handle, we can make a couple of different sizes. This is good thickness. Mm -hmm. And it's even. Oh my god. And that's the other thing. That's the other thing with the with the slamming you get yeah. so superbly even. Um so uh, let's try this. I've, I've you know like stretched um you know, like when you make a, a circle on a, a, a slab on the wheel and then you want to stretch it into an oval. I've done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever tried to uh, make a slab. And now I'll cut a bevel. Score 
that. Flip it around. And go over this edge. You want this to be quite a bit longer than you, you think you will need. Because you're going to lose a bit at the end. And you want these to be kind of matching as best as you can. Oh, that's okay. Worst things could happen. Worst things. It, take a look at my piece. You can see it from here. It's one shoulder higher. It's making me nuts. Which <laughs> that yeah. Here's the place where you can let go of that a little bit. It's better, but it's still. Yeah. Should maybe the table's tilted? So the this is B mix, which is not the same clay, but better. these are both well, content. I'm just saying maybe so. the, it's it it's it's moving that way because it's not level. No, nope. it'll be okay. And then we roll a sushi roll. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this. Ah. Do you put anything inside? Or? No. You wanna make a rattle? If you want to make a rattle, yeah. Like a whole orchestra. Yeah. So I roll this up and I line this edge. The best that I can. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> Put a little water. <laughs> right. Here. No. Okay. Hmm? Moisten this just a little bit. And roll it together. Mm -hmm. And you can decide if you want the seam to be on the outside of your handle or on the inside of your handle. I mean, this is kind of nice too, mm -hmm. and it folds differently depending how you put it. I'll show you both. Just make sure that's sealed. And then we're going to make a pillow. So I'll nip these ends. Make sure they're closed. Make the other end. Make sure it's closed. Hmm. And depending how you want this, like let's just say I want this to be like this, and now you see why it needs to be really soft. If this yeah. is hard, mm -hmm. turn, yeah. it'll just crack. Of course. Um, and here's one. Do you poke a hole in it? Later, when it's attached. Not until it's attached, until it's in its final position. Otherwise, you lose the, the puff. And that won't be fun. So I'll show you the other way, too, if how it looks like the if the seam is on the outside. And if you wanted, um, so I've been thinking about those puzzle mugs. If you wanted to uh, have the whole stay like still be a hole you make it bigger no 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 but have have it still be open so you can attach with a hole on your piece have the handle actually feed into the piece like you cut a hole the handle would attach you have a hollow handle and you go down oh and oh hole, oh it would actually be part of the piece yeah is but it seems like part of what you're relying on here to get the curve is that the air is in there to hold it up so yes. it doesn't just collapse yes when you're so is there, like, would you just cut it open afterwards? Though? Yes. So once it's dry, then you would cut it? When it's leather hard, you can do anything to it. Once it's set, it will retain this shape. Okay. It doesn't change. Because then, then that's and the... Then you, and then you attach. And, and then, then, you, then you cut. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why I'm making this now, so that when the time comes for me to attach this, it'll be set enough that I can, without losing this, 
do it. Right. So, so if you f you f you figured out um, how big of a handle you want on your piece when you make it to a certain well, degree. Well, yes. So I'm, I'm I can always shorten like this. making you know I'm pulling my handles and I always make two or three and 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 then. You know, once you get it onto the piece, sometimes you decide, oh, a little shorter one would look better, a little longer one would look better. Right. Like you have to make that design decision ahead of time when you... <laughs> so I, now that, let's just say that my okay. pot would be here and I say, this is too long. Okay, then you just squeeze it and cut it? Yep. Okay. And here's the other question. Once it's sealed on the outside like that, Yep. can you pull it? When it's sealed on the, I Once never tried like this, that. Could you try? Could you could you pull that handle right now? Like, could you just keep pulling it and no, as if it's no, a, this... it's too thin and it's too soft. Okay. But if you let it set up, and then you might be able to pull. Yeah, and maybe thicker, leave it a little thicker before you thicker. started. Make it a little I think bit thicker. You might end up with a, the whole thing gone. So I'll do the the seam on the outside. I need it this long, so take off a bit. Always make the bevels opposites, obviously, so it's easiest to do. I turn them around, unless you're really good with your left hand to cut it. So when you turn it around, you're getting the opposite side. Exactly, you're getting the same angle. I always say flip it like the page of a book. And do the same side. And then I'll again score. Score. Don't slip. And again, we have a little sushi roll. sure this is definitely attached. And then bend it this way. Mm -hmm. So you see how it's quite different look. It folds differently too. You wouldn't attempt this method if you wanted to make a, a smaller handle. This is about oh, the, the small. Oh, I can. I make these on cups too. Okay. Just make it tiny. Okay. Make it like a like a cigar. Okay. They're really they're really really comfortable. No bite. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This one. I'm gonna let it set up this way. It's not really happy going. <coughs> Supposed to play a little bit too soft. No, it's no? just the, the, the that's how that the that seam that, is a little bit harder to right, turn it that way. Exactly, because it's doubled over and it's not wanting to. Exactly. Stretch. So it's okay. it's like a spine on this side, mm -hmm. but on this side it's like a, a the opposite. It makes it mm -hmm. push down. All right, and then I'll. Wow. Well, yeah. So much fun. They're, and they're really yeah. comfortable. Um, touch it. No. I think I have one in the firing, so you'll see oh, okay. it. There's one at the studio already. Yeah. In the gallery. Okay. Yeah. All right. We were trying to figure out how you did it. We, Jenny, Christina, and I. Oh. Now you know. We didn't think about this at all. Thank you. Now you know. What did you 